All right, yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. We have a really, really cool catching event on our hands, as you can tell by the really cute mud chip art. So this is going to be the fan favorite mud chip catching event. Let's go ahead and break down the details. This event is going to be taking place on Thursday, the 16th of June, 2022 at 1800 UTC, 1400 ET, which is 2 p.m. Eastern, that's my time zone, or 2 a.m. CT. Apologies to those CT folks, best of luck. You're not gonna be able to make every catch event, guys. The devs do a really good job of trying to spread out catch events over different time frames and different periods of time so that different people all over the world can attend certain catch events, but just obviously by the nature of time, you know, not everyone's gonna be able to make every catch event, and it's important to understand that, and sometimes it sucks, but, it's how the dice roll, not much you can do. We're gonna be catching these Mudkip on Route 120 in Hoenn, which I believe is the only place you can catch Mudkip in game. Route 120 in Hoenn on Channel 1. You're gonna have one hour to catch as many Mudkip and Marl as possible. And Marl are pretty common there, if I remember correctly. And then 10 minutes after that hour is up to submit either your best Pokemon or your worst Pokemon. The scoring is going to be so total sum of IVs, plus species bonus, plus nature bonus, really typical stuff. Let's go ahead and break down the unique species and nature bonuses to this event. So Mudkip is going to have a plus five and there's a Marl is going to be neutral and there's going to be two nature bonuses of plus three for Impish, plus one for Adamant. I do not recommend bringing a synchronized Pokemon as you'll probably be catching a lot of Marl and it's not going to be worth the time waste to switch from your synchronized Pokemon to your catching Pokemon. Now I'm going to quickly explain how scoring works. So total sum of IVs is just all of the IVs, all of the numbers on your Mudkip, um, all the IVs added up, right? It's just, it's just basic addition. And you have the, they give you that number. They give you the total sum of IVs number at the bottom of every IV page on a Pokemon. So let's say you were to catch a 162 overall, let's say you were to catch a Impish 162 sum of IV Mudkip. So that would end up being a 162 base plus the species bonus, which is five, making it a 167, and then plus the nature bonus, which is impish, so plus three, so it ends up being a 170. So if you catch a 162 total IV mudkip, you add the, that's also impish, you add the species bonus, the nature bonus, ends up being 170. Pretty basic math, but I can understand how it's confusing, so I wanted to go ahead and, and draw that little formula out. Now onto the basic general rules, which are the same for every single catch event. I'll run through them pretty quickly here. But if you want details or need have any questions about them, let me know in the comments down below or check out my video that explains catch events in a little more detail. So to win first through third place that are sorted from highest to lowest, you need to submit an entry that scores the highest. To win fourth place, you need to submit an entry that scores the lowest. You can only submit one entry, which means you can obviously only shoot for one of those placements. Players can enter the event with only one account slash character. All Pokemon must be caught within the event time and at the event location. All Pokemon must remain unchanged, untrained, and unevolved. Evolved or unevolved forms of the listed Pokemon will not be accepted as valid entries. You must be the OT of the Pokemon. You must link your entry to any participating staff member via Whisper to submit it. The staff members for this event are going to be Cosmuth, Edwardino, and Baquetta. They'll be pretty easily seen in global chat. At the end of the event, during that 10-minute period, um, it's pretty easy to find moderators saying taking entries whis whisper me your pokemon etc etc in global chat global chat's a great way to just be on top of events like this uh, and then in the event of a tie the winner will, will be determined by earliest catch so if there needs to be a tie breaker um, this happens quite often not even just for the winner but even for like second and third place um, so tiebreakers are really important. Make sure to catch your Pokemon as fast as possible. On to the prizes for this event. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a gift shiny Mudkip, but that obviously makes sense. They don't like giving away super rare shinies like this during events like this, which makes sense. You don't want to flood the economy. Uh, not even economy because they're obviously untradeable, but like you don't want to devalue others who who spent the, you know, the year plus um, 120 million Pokemon it would take to hunt a shiny Mudkip when you know you could win it from this event so i understand that i think it's a good way to uh, to be fair about things it's still going to be a perfect mudkip so a gift mudkip with your choice of nature four moves and i think this is a typo this says three selectable ivs um usually for an event like this it'll be six selectable ivs um also it would it would at least be three selectable ivs plus 28 in the other ivs so i think this is a typo um i'm assuming this is supposed to be six uh, six selectable IVs, but yeah, because it would be one or the other. That, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like this is a typo, but hopefully they'll get that fixed soon. Uh, plus 1,000 reward points if you don't care about the, the Mudkip prize, which RP during this time period is going to be super valuable and super important because the 10-year anniversary event should be out 
during the 16th of June. So RP is going to be a very hot commodity. So a really good time to be doing catch events. Second place will get 500 RP and third and fourth place will both get 250 RP respectively. That covers all the details for the mud tip catch event. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like this video to let me know you want to see, you want to be updated and see more catching event videos like this. Subscribe to future Pokemon content. Check out the Discord link down below if you want to join a really cool community and learn a lot about the game. And then finally, if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel financially, you can do so with the YouTube membership link down below, PayPal, Venmo, or anything like that. They're all linked down below. Any, any support helps a ton and allows me to keep making content. So a huge shout out to any of those who do go above and beyond. You literally allow me to do this every day. So thank you all so much. Have a great day and best of luck at the Mudkip Catching Event.